Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to explain to you the purpose of the Quick Look column in Project for the Web. Now, I actually introduced you to Project uh, for the Web uh, application in one of my earlier videos, but essentially what it is, uh, it's uh, a web-based, obviously, application part of Microsoft 365 that allows project managers and the teams to manage projects uh, kind of in, uh, in a web-based you know, format online. Uh, it kind of fills the gap, the application fills the gap between Planner and, um, you know, the other task management tool that we have, as well as the uh, desktop version of Microsoft Project, which is really built for project managers. Um, so when you create a new project, all right, let's just, you know, create, uh, I don't know, uh, a simple, you know, project, or you know what, let's just do uh, some quick uh, project over here. Uh, as you complete your tasks and add the tasks, uh, one of the columns you get to see in here is this quick look column. And by default, it's empty, so it doesn't, you don't really have a lot of information, but what is the purpose of this column? Uh, let me explain. It actually will be more obvious if I go to one of my existing schedules that I have. Um, I, in this one, I have a bunch of tasks and subtasks and you know durations, dependencies, and so on. And I also have this quick look column. And uh, you might already kind of guess what the purpose of this is, but essentially it's a quick way for you, you know, the project manager as well as team members to see if there is any additional uh, information available uh, on this particular task. As of recording of this uh, video, there are three components that you might see in this quick look column. Obviously, if it's blank, there is nothing extra uh, on the task. Uh, but you might see this chat bubble, you might see an attachment, and you might see this kind of uh, checklist thing. And essentially what this tells you is that, you know, in case if you see a bubble, uh, that means uh, there are actually conversations happening on this task in Microsoft Teams. Uh, for those conversations, uh, you know, to be visible, if you want to reply to those conversations, you really have to be in Teams. But essentially it just tells you there are conversations um, you know, there is some chat going on uh, related to this task, so you need to check it out from Microsoft Teams. Uh, if you see the attachment, you know, um, uh, kind of uh, icon, uh, it actually tells you uh, whether or not there are attachments. It, uh, it's an indicator if there are any attachments that it actually shows me. I have one attachment. If I had 10 or something, it would show the number over here. And yeah, you can just click on this. And on the sidebar, you know, obviously here's my task, same task, but here we go, I have an attachment. I have an attachment. Um, obviously, all the attachments are there stored in SharePoint, but it just tells you uh, whether the attachment is there or not. So it's a quick way, way for you to see it. Uh, the third indicator you might see is uh, this um, kind of checkbox and some numbers next to it. This tells you if there are any checklists, right? Uh, one of the features of um, uh, you know uh, Project for the Web on each and every task, you can actually create a checklist. These are like small subtasks. We can actually do the same in Planner, uh, but you can create like some really small tasks, which probably don't need to be separate tasks, you know, identified as separate tasks from the project plan. Uh, but if you did create a checklist, uh, it will be, there will be an indicator. And as you complete uh, the tasks, all right, right on the, within the quick look column, you can see I have only, you know, one, uh, you know, I have one task completed out of two on my checklist. All right. So essentially, this is the pieces of information you might see on a quick uh, look uh, column. You can hide it by default. It does show because obviously, all right, it's not practical to show everything uh, in the view. So it's just a quick way for you to see if extra information is available. And if, you, if it is, you can uh, quickly access it by just clicking on that particular indicator. Right. So that's all I wanted to explain in this uh, quick video. Hopefully you found it uh, useful and helpful. Uh, as always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.